Leo, and welcome to Coleman Tarot. My name is H.E. Coleman, and this is going to be your reading for the month of September. It is really hot outside. It's about 110 degrees, or maybe 115. So I am red-faced, and I am sweating. Uh, okay, let's see. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, Leo. Mm-hmm. Leo, we have Judgment, then we have the Four of Cups upside down, then we have the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, nice, then we have the Chariot, Temperance, the Two of Pentacles, and the outcome is the Devil. Okay, mm -hmm. and then we have this over here. Okay, so we have Angels here, Angel here, and the Devil here. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be interesting. Here we have judgment. This is about feeling judged from others or judging others possibly too harshly, okay? I think this can also be about judging yourself too harshly. And also, um, the devil card also can be about fear and doubt, which you have over here. So it can also, this judgment thing can definitely be about you um, judging the world very harshly and feeling... Um, Allowing that to, to bring fear into your life and just saying like there's so much going on bad in the world I'm gonna bring that fear into my own life, which you need to be careful to do Okay, so this is definitely about judging the world and judging yourself and being judged by others Now over here we have the four of cups in reverse Which is great because if it's like this then it's kind of a, a little pity party where you're sitting over here and you're saying why? Why are my cups empty? But then over here you have an amazing, wonderful cup, but you don't see it because you have that negative attitude or you have that thing where you can only focus on the bad stuff and you don't see that there's good stuff right all around you or right behind you. When it's like this, it's saying that it's going to be a very short, uh, you're going to snap out of it really quickly. Okay, so there might be a moment like with this judgment card where you, you, you see something that's going on in the world and you just it gets you down and you think, okay, am I going to dwell on this? And let it ruin my day or am I going to snap out of it and get this cup that's right behind me okay so I think you're gonna snap out of it pretty quickly which is great over here we have the six of wands this is about being celebrated for doing something great so you might actually be inspired by whatever this is that's bothering you to take action and do something great that other people can um, get behind or you might be uh, saying you might say something that other people champion and say yes it's a great idea this is a great solution to whatever it is that's bothering you okay but this card in itself is about being celebrated for doing something amazing okay six of wands excellent and you know this might be the thing that you're worried about ju the judgment you might be worried that um, people are not going to judge you well for something that you're doing at work or in a relationship and then they it turns around that people actually really like it so you might be worried here and saying oh people don't like me or people are um, you might be jealous of other people and then all of a sudden it's not what you thought and somebody celebrates what you've done okay this is great in the middle you have the king of cups and the king of cups is about um, someone who is putting their heart out there somebody who is um, allowing themselves to be emotional and that takes a lot of strength because it's hard to just say to the world like we always have these masks where everything's perfect it's hard to say to the world you know like I care about this or I care about you but the king of cups and it's right in the middle of your reading so this is definitely gonna be about about you whether it is somebody um, caring about you and telling you that they care about you uh, and improving your life through taking care of you or more likely for most of you that can be for some but for most of you this is about you caring about somebody else or you caring about something that's going on in the world okay with the judgment card I don't think it's necessarily about one person I think it's more about like a global issue or like something big that's happening in your um, in your world or your community where you say I care about this and I'm going to tell people that I care about this and then people say hey we care about it too you know okay over here we have the chariot okay the chariot is about fast progress okay it's kind of like putting your putting your your action behind your thought because when you have, there's two horses there, one is what you're thinking and one is what you're doing. And if you put them together, you can make fast progress. And if you don't, if you just think about something but you don't really take action, then it doesn't really go anywhere. Okay, the chariot is going in two different directions. 
You have that above this card. So I think something is upsetting you, and then you either um, do something about it and take action and go somewhere, or you don't do something about it, and then nothing happens. Okay? So then that, 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 that whole experience was for nothing because it came into your life to prompt you to take action, but you decided not to. Okay? I think for most of you, you're going to take action. I think you're going to see something that upsets you, and you're going to take action to improve it. All right? Over here, we have the Temperance card. And the Temperance card is about um, making different elements of your life fit together smoothly, okay? And usually it's elements that shouldn't fit together, like fire and water, and turning it into, like, one one thing, one um, one solution or one uh, one cup. So basically what this is is... It is saying that you might be having some self-discipline. You might be working really hard to fit something new into your life, okay? And this card is also a lot, as I was saying, about self-discipline. It's about um, working really hard on something but making it look easy, okay? And that is why people are celebrating you because it's above the celebration card. So you're, you're going to be taking some self-discipline and... Um, creating something or fitting something into your life that other people think is great. All right, over here, this is your obstacle, and I think you're going to really overcome it. This is the Two of Pentacles. This is about balancing different aspects of your life, okay? This card is telling you that this is something that you need to do because it's an obstacle. You need to learn to balance different things in your life, okay? Instead of just focusing on the negative, maybe... Uh, balance it out and say, okay, there's bad things in the world, but there's also good things. Bad things happen, but it's a lot of times bad things happen so that good people can stand up and make a difference. Because when something bad happens, you think, oh, this is a terrible world. And then you see something else in the news where somebody's doing something amazing and you think, wow, there is, there are good people, there are good, uh, there's good stuff happening, you know? <clears throat> so I think that's going to be you this month, okay? You might be leading the rest of us, okay? You might be inspiring the rest of us, okay? Now, the other reason I know that you're going to overcome this is because you have this card. Now, this is about balancing your life, and this is about having enough self-discipline to fit something new into your life. You can't just stuff something into your life and think it's going to work out. You have to be self-disciplined enough. So I really feel like you are going to balance. You are going to balance something new into your life. You're going to make it fit, and you're going to balance it. Now, your outcome is the devil. And the devil is about, um, it can be lots of different things, but for some people, the thing that's popping into my mind is about feeling controlled. You feel controlled by uh, things in your environment, okay? And for some people, for some months, it can be like overspending or feeling like trapped. I don't really think that that's you. I think that you feel more um, controlled by stuff that's happening in your world, and you might need to take action and and stand up and say, okay, I'm going to break these chains because I don't want to be controlled anymore. I don't, I don't want this uh, anger or this sadness to control me, um, so I'm going to take some action. Okay, this is about you uh, kind of like confronting the devil where something upsets you and you're going to confront it and say, I'm going to make a difference. Okay, now the things you have hidden from you are the Nine of Swords, and this is about fear and doubt, which is also... Like, the biggest tools of the devil is fear and doubt, okay? Fear and doubt. Doubting yourself and doubting um, the nature of other people. Just automatically assuming that everyone's a scumbag or something. Or automatically assuming that you're not going to be able to accomplish something great, okay? And that also can be about this, which is um, feeling negative about yourself or feeling negative about others. And feeling like, okay, either jealousy or feeling self-doubt and thinking, oh, I, I really screwed this up. I can't do this. But, um, which again has to do with the judgment. But I think that uh, you're going to have to conquer this if you're going to, you're going to have to conquer your fear and self-doubt if you're going to conquer the devil and conquer being controlled. Feeling like your world is out of control. I think that you're going to take control because you have this card here and you also have the judgment card and you also have the king of cups, which is about putting your emotion on the line. Okay. So I think that you are going to overcome your fear, overcome your self doubt and, um, conquer this and break these chains. And what, the, what I mean by that is I think that something is going to, you're going to see something in the world that's going to upset you and you're going to say, am I going to allow this to, uh, to ruin my view of the world? 
so to speak, and you're going to say, am I going to allow someone else's judgment of me or am I going to allow my judgment of me and say, I have fear and self-doubt here that I can make a difference and I can make a change. But then you do because you have this card where people are thinking what you're doing is great and you have this card where you're putting out your emotions and you're caring about other people. Okay, the King of Cups is not about caring about yourself. The King of Cups is about giving a cup of caring and emotion to another person, which most people don't do. Okay, most people don't do it all the time. It's rare that that happens, but it's the middle of your month. So you are going to be feeling emotional and you are going to be taking control of that cup. And I think sharing it with others. Okay, it doesn't happen all the time, but this is the month for it. Now, here we have the Ten of Wands, which is about you doing a lot of work. Okay, doing a lot of work and almost completing it. You're almost about to complete something. Okay, and then you get uh, recognition for it. And over here, the last one that's hidden from you is the King of Wands, which is about taking something that you really care about and putting it out into the world. Whether it is a business that helps people or whether it is a, an idea or whether it's a relationship, the king is bold enough to put it out there and say, hey everybody, this is my thing. This is my idea, this is my relationship, this is my business, and this is it. I'm putting it out there, I'm the king of it, or the queen, and I'm putting it out there. So this, you definitely have to overcome fear and self-doubt. You definitely have to overcome self-pity. If you're gonna put something out in the world and say, this is it, I am the king or I am the queen, you have to overcome petty fears and doubt. And you have to be self-disciplined, definitely, to do that. Now, <clears throat> so your outcome for this is the devil. This is about you breaking chains. And this is about you um, overcoming fear and self-doubt to put something out in the world to make a difference. Okay? So this is a, that's, that's quite a challenge for, for one month. Now, this is your spiritual card. Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay, and you can see that this guy over here is seeing this family and getting some ideas and he's going to use his scholarly wisdom to either like do something with his family, whether it's going to be like making their lives better or deciding he wants to make his own family or whatever. He's got a book here and he's, he's very wise and he's looking at this family and he's got some ideas about what he wants to do. Okay, I think that's going to be you looking at the world and um, having an idea about what you want to, what you want to contribute. Okay, because I think something's going to bug you. Something in the news is going to bug you. All right, this is, and you're going to do something about it. This is your um, fate card for the month. Fire. Okay, reckless actions lead to conflict. Aha, reckless actions lead to conflict. So I think that uh, something in the news is going to be, somebody in the news is going to be, uh, either someone in the news is going to be reckless and that is going to lead like put a fire under you to get up there and do something or it can be also that you jump out something in the news bugs you you jump out and say something or do something reckless and then you feel bad about it and you judge yourself and you have fear and doubt and then you overcome that okay or you overcome that and try to um, put your heart out there and make a big difference all right so if you do see something that bugs you in the news or see something that, that bugs you in the world um, don't just jump out and try to do something. If you want to be smart and use your wisdom, plan what you want to do in response or plan how you can um, make a positive change rather than just jumping out and adding to the, to the rather than being reckless and jumping out there and, and being a hothead, so to speak, and just shouting at people and, and bringing even more conflict into it. Instead, be wise and um, plan what you want to do, like plan a way to help others rather than just adding to the misery and adding to the fight and yelling at everybody. Okay, so that is going to be your goal this month is going to be to make a response and break the chains that are controlling you when you see things happening and think, okay, the world is this way and I can never make a difference. Break those chains, okay, but at the same time, don't give in to your temper. Don't give in to being hot-headed and just jumping out there. This is saying to be wise and don't be reckless and just jump out and try to solve it. Be wise and try to find a solution that will help people without adding to the chaos. Okay, so have a wonderful month. Looks like you're going to be doing something big and uh, let me know in the comments.